going on everybody? So I just got set up for tonight. Tonight's mission is to shoot another doe. Uh, I am in a different spot tonight. Tonight I'm overlooking a uh, old wheat field that they just disked up, but they just cut the corn that surrounds it. And so what they usually do is they come from the bedding and they cross the uh, dirt road and then they go out here and feed up an evening and they usually, there's a pond right here and sometimes they'll stop and get a drink, but uh, should be a good hunt. We usually see a lot of deer in this spot. Um, it's pretty cool that we're hunting inside of a barn, something that you don't get to do that often. Pretty comfortable just sitting here on top of the hay bales. We're two hay bales high, so we get to see a long ways. Uh, it should be fun. I brought my 270 with me tonight instead of my 223. Haven't shot a deer with my 270 in, I don't know, probably four years. Um, so I'm excited to use that. We're going to sit back and see what all we can see. Should be a good night. That cold front just moved in yesterday, and the deer were really moving last night. Um, if it wasn't early October, I'd be going after a buck, but <laughs> with my bow. But I just I don't want my season to be over that quick, so I'm gonna wait until late October, early November, before I really hunt hard for for uh, for a buck. And hopefully, one will start showing up a little more regular. But uh, yeah, it should be a good night. I'm excited. So let's hopefully we can get a doe or two down tonight. Okay, guys. So it's 6:05 right now, and I just happened to look up and uh, five deer stepped out of the corn just cut. Um, there's still some sanding. I hadn't finished the field yet and they just came out of the standing corn. They're still really far and I can't get them on video because the roof is in the way. I have to lay on my stomach to see them. But um, they are coming this way a little bit. I'd say they're about 400 yards right now so I'd like them to get a little closer. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can come in and we can get one down on video. But it's good that they're moving this early. Cold front definitely has them on their feet. So I just shot that doe. I uh, was just got done watching some other deer that were on the other side of the field and I look over and they were right next to the pond. Um, I'm pretty sure I smoked her. Her front legs were given out right when she went down in that uh, draw right there. So I'm pretty sure she's done for, but that was awesome. We still have honestly a little bit of time and I have two more tags left. You can shoot four in Macon County. So I'm gonna sit here for another 30 minutes probably and see what else, we'll see what else comes out, but hopefully we can get another deer down. Okay, well, I just watched the footage and realized that when the gun kicked, it moved the hay bale that my camera was sitting on. So that really sucks. Sorry that I didn't get the shot fully on film. Hopefully we can have another one come out. We can get it, get a little better video of it. All right, guys, it's about five minutes after sunset, so if I don't see anything for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna get down, that way I have some daylight to attract this deer. I think she just ran about 30 yards and piled up, so should be an easy track job, especially with 270, a uh, lot bigger hole than the 223 I used, uh, that was yesterday morning, so should be a lot easier. And it'd be nice to have a little bit of daylight to help because I forgot flashlights, all I, have, all I have is my phone, so I'm gonna need all the light I can get. Okay, so I did see some more does and then some deer way over and a cornfield that's, I mean, they're probably almost a mile away. Couldn't tell what they were, so just my binoculars. But still got a little bit of light left. Walking back to get the ranger. Uh, I just parked right here. 
next to the shed in this old house. Uh, it's a really easy walk. I'm gonna walk back, get the ranger. And I'm gonna grab my stuff. I left it there by the barn. Then we're gonna drive over to where I shot her and see if we can find some blood. I just got to where I shot her. Got my other camera out to make sure I was in the right spot. And I looked, I took a few steps and looked and we got some really good blood right here. There's bubbles in it. Looks like lung blood and it just keeps going. So we're gonna get on that. We're gonna go find her here. I'd say she's just right inside this wood, wood edge right here. I just found her. She ran about probably 50 yards and piled up. I'm gonna pull her out of here real quick and get her out here in the field. We can see a little better. Pull it out here. Another good sized doe. Good shot again. Didn't run very far at all. So I'm gonna get her cleaned up. Um, and then I think we'll be back out again tomorrow evening. Megan will finally be with me, so it'll be her turn to shoot. Uh, I think we're gonna just go doe hunting again. There were some deer up there in that cut cornfield, so we might go sit there. We'll see. We could sit in the same spot. They're out here every night. So we'll see, but appreciate you guys watching another video. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe, but we'll catch you guys on the next one.